You ever just lose your V-card online, most likely to a guy? Statistically, probably, because losing your V-card to a man isn't really a niche thing. But considering my track record for the past eight months, this is coming off a little odd. Okay, as PG, as we all like to keep it on YouTube, I can say most story timers on here have wanted a bone at some point. Like, I guarantee you some of the same people who made videos about school stories and middle school girlfriends have also watched The Hub in their parents' house. And I know that because I made videos about school stories and middle school girlfriends, and I watched The Hub in my parents' house. It's kind of like realizing that your parents had to have sex to make you for the first time. Doesn't seem like these guys f from the way they talk, but statistically, they f And I was definitely no different from any of these school story hub watchers, right? In fact, I was probably worse. Now, thankfully, my parents were, well, parents and kind of warned me off the idea of just being a 13 year old thought right out the puberty gate they tell me kurt you can't just go smashing girls because women are more than that you can hurt someone if you're not careful you can catch something you can be a dad i didn't know there were so many negatives to procreating so i took all the important lessons my parents taught me and throw them away who cares about not manipulating women i'm 13 i don't feel empathy <laughs> I understood what my parents were saying, but that didn't make me not want to, you know, engage in the adult dance. I mean, it's like your teacher telling you, if you don't work on the homework now, you'll be struggling when it's due, but I'm gonna do it like that anyways. So thankfully though, even though my genitals were on fire, I never acted on it, which sounds bad now that I'm saying it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep that in. Mostly because I respected my parents and listened to their wise words, and that's a lie. I didn't act on any of my intentions because, in the wise words of Alexander Graham Bell, I was a little p***y. He didn't say that. See, for small Richie, even if I wanted to just manipulate and womanize women, I'd be scared. Because women are scary. Talking to women is scary. Talking is scary. I'd have to talk to them, which I've said in a multitude of videos, uh, isn't something I'm the biggest fan of. Uh, talking. <laughs> like 13 year old anxiety trumps a 13 year old sex drive every time. Like sex is cool, but have you ever like stayed on Twitter all day though? So I just kind of rolled with just not doing anything with anyone and accepted that's how it's just gonna be, at least for a while. Now quick side point, in fact it really isn't a side point, in fact it's really more so of a regular point. It is a regular point. Like I said, I'm not big on talking. So when I did talk, uh, it was typically through a computer uh, to a random stranger. Because why speak to actual people I know when I could speak to Carl? But more specifically, I'd often frequent these text chats that were attached to games on the Game Center in the old iOS interface through my iPod Touch. That was the most middle school sense I've ever said. Uh, since middle school. Anyways, I was on a chat I frequented a lot and it was getting really late. It was maybe like 2 a.m. Because again, that's what I like to do with my 13 year old time. And, okay, well, before I go further, this is the part of the video that's basically like when you're about to tell someone something you can't explain. I'm about to tell you something I can't explain. See, these chats weren't, what's the word? Conventional, and by conventional, I mean one of the things that would happen in the chats is Get back from the green! Role play? But like regular role play, like not in the sex way. Yeah. More in the, uh, let's pretend we're at a party with friends in a pool in a jacuzzi and just talking away. Which now I think about it sounds incredibly sad because role playing is usually for really out of this world stuff like fantasy worlds or, or having superpowers. But nah, we're just role playing having friends. And the parties were usually pretty equally distributed. There were half guys, half girls, which is surprising for an internet thing. Very surprising. And when Duran said party, everyone was getting loose, but somebody must have spiked the digital punch. God, that was bad. Because this time around, the role play was going from more of a, you know, LARPing crowd to more of a And I remember when everything happened. One of the guys typed, and I quote, Everyone was silent. The chat was at a standstill. Because what this girl said in response to him would mean everything. Is that the appropriate response for And like dominoes, everything fell. This had become a chat room orgy. People began having s uh, uh, It was ridiculous. 
I don't know why I said all those things. Like, I'm not going to have to censor them, but uh, f it, there you go. And no lie, I was kind of into it. I know, I know, okay, it was young, horny Kurt. I'd get aroused from a promiscuously shaped couch. All right, words on the screen were more than enough to get me going. But this was the perfect solution to the problem we were talking about earlier. I don't have to talk to people, actually, and they're random strangers. This is, this is perfect. I <laughs> so everyone was digitally banging, and you know, peer pressure comes in all different forms. Everyone's gonna unsubscribe after this video. At first, I was worried, though, because no one was talking to me in the mists of online sex, which would have been incredibly salty, considering I couldn't get girls IRL or online. Uh, so that would have been sad. But eventually, a girl came up to me in this massive digital orgy and asked me, do you want to get out of here? But basically, that meant to slide into the DM so we can each other. And from there, we started doing the adult dance. Now, obviously, I can't describe what happened there. I'm um, just imagine a lot of cringy Kurt Ritchie saying bad things to people thing. But anyways, I ended up feeling kind of dirty about it. it. It felt wrong, you know? Anyways, I proceeded to do it forever now. Not just in chats, but any online medium, especially games. Maple Story, it was sex. Uh, RuinScape, boom, smash there too. Wizard 101, I had girls on girls on girls. I was the Chad of the Wizard 101 world. Now, eventually, I kind of grew out of all that, and now I avoid having sex in video games and also real life. I've reached a point where I know that kind of stuff is bad and weird. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm a 22 year old male. I really hope. I'm not doing that, but not till recently a certain thought has crossed my mind. So slight spoilers ahead for Black Mirror, but there's this episode called Striking Vipers, which again, spoilers, if you haven't seen it, this is me saying this now, two friends end up playing a video game and uh, banging in it as different characters. Like he's a girl and, 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 and he's a guy. The internet isn't a place where it's 50-50, especially internet chat rooms where people are having sex. So. I was recently thinking back, and I was like, yo, did I lose my internet V card to a guy? Statistically, probably, which is fine, I guess. Shout out to him, thanks, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, moral of the story, maybe not smash people online. Really simple one. I don't think it needs a lot of, you know, explaining. Hey guys, um, I'm just taking a shit. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video that definitely just got demonetized because of this bit. Before I get into the rest of this next bit, I uh, just wanted to say, check out this video I made for the Robot. I wrote it and it's really cool. Uh, you know that because of this one clip I'm about to play, play it. But I don't think that's how boobs work. All right, back to your regular schedule. Oh! Me sitting on the toilet. Oh! If you're in the New York area, I'm doing a little meetup on today, Thursday, the week this video came out, so it's past Thursday or you, you can't do it. Madison Square Park, 6 p.m. It's gonna be a real chill thing. If you wanna come, come through. I won't be um, naked there, most likely. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Peace.